Hi guys, it's been a while since my last video, but I've been pretty busy. Uh, between getting ready for going back to school and um, just a whole bunch of other crap, uh, I haven't really made any videos. And part of the reason is because I got a new helmet, as you can see, and I've just been wearing that one. Because uh, it's more comfortable and it fits better, but that doesn't have any camera mounting on it. Camera mounting, you know, hardware on it, like uh, my old one does over there. <coughs> So, I haven't been vlogging at all, and I also, the main reason I haven't been is because I lost my microphone, um, but we'll get more to that later. While I haven't been vlogging, I've been working a lot on um, my telemetry deal, and so you can see there's numerous bits and pieces strewn about, uh, you know, I've been plugging away at it, there's some, oh, that's not math, oh, here you go doing some really basic trigonometry, but to figure out how to plot the numbers on the tachometer, which hopefully is in focus there, I don't know, can I get it in better focus? Sort of. Um, but yeah, so that's the, that's the start of it. Um, the tachometer is going to be the trickiest part because you have to like plot the thing, you have to plot the needle in like an arc, and so the math for that is a little tricky. It's not tricky, but it just takes some, you have to wrap your head around it to get there. And um, So this is all done from scratch in a program called Processing, which gives you some basic things. And this is all the code you need just to draw what you have over there. And so I actually have one thing I can demonstrate to you. I needed like a test to see if I could do it from start to finish. Uh, and this is it. I'll just run this for you really quick. Um, this is really basic. It has that down there is just a potentiometer uh, being twisted, and it's filling up a bar graph. Um, which it's not as like simple as that sounds, but that's really all it's doing. And um, so that's a really you know basic thing, but that was just sort of a proof of concept thing. Um, and then yeah, it says done when it's finished. Where's the thing for that? And so this has quite a bit of code as well, but I mean that's if that's not that bad. It, I, I've done a lot of this coding before, but it just took a while to get back into. But it, it won't be this <laughs> this basic and stuff. And if you're wondering how this is going to you know end up, uh, you know, in my videos, the nifty thing you can do is, and you'll know immediately what I'm going to do. You can change the background color. Whoops, that was the wrong one. <laughs> oh, this is supposed to go well. Where is it? Background. Change the background color to green or any other color really. And with most, you know, modern software, you can or not, or it won't show up at all. Zero two five five. Oh, I need to do it here. Sorry, guys. Okay, now you can see it. I can make the background green. And so when I get into the video editing software, uh, it takes all the green away, obviously, and it becomes transparent, and you can see the video behind it. And so that's, you know, a really simple way of doing that. Um, and so that's, that's pretty much that. Uh, I've gotten to the point now. I have a few things coming in the mail for this. I have uh, like a project box, it's just an aluminum box that I can put all this crap in um, so it'll be neat and it's sort of a heat sink but it's also sort of like a heat trap so we'll see if it if it needs to you know be if I need to put a fan in it or anything but I think it should be fine um, I'm getting a couple more, I need some like basic stuff uh, for soldering and stuff that I just don't have but um, I mean, that's all coming in the mail in the next couple of days. I'm going to be away for the Monday through Wednesday for the beginning of the week. So I won't have a, I won't be doing anything like that, but, or I won't do anything, I won't be doing any videos or anything, but, uh, when I get home Wednesday afternoon, not only will all the stuff I need to finish this be here, this is the, the shield I was waiting for too for the micro SD card, but that probably doesn't interest you anyways. Um, I'm getting all this stuff to finish this, but I'm also getting a GoPro, 
uh, HD Hero 2, uh, a new microphone, a splitter thing I need, and the SD card for the GoPro and stuff, so that'll be exciting. So I'm going to have to mount that up to my new helmet, which I love. It's green and it matches, so yeah, so a whole lot of fun stuff happening. Uh, I'll be sure to clue you guys in when all that goes down. I'll probably do, I don't know, some explanation of that at some point when I'm putting it on the bike. Uh, a couple things I need to still work out for this. Um, this is like, this is for the brakes. Uh, I, I already explained this all to you guys. These are working now. There's a resistor I was forgetting about in the wiring, and that's why it wasn't working. But I got that. Um, I got a nifty toggle switch over here which is red when it's off, this little white part lights up, red when it's off, green when it's on, and the green matches the motorcycle, of course. That's the only reason I got it. It was like $4 for that switch, but it turns green, so I had to have it. Um, so, yeah, so I've got all, all this stuff. What did I say I was forgetting about? Oh, the one thing I have to work out is the tachometer. Uh, if you don't know, tachometers send pulses rather than like an analog frequency, like you see the tachometer moves smoothly, you know, to an extent, but it's really just getting pulses, digital pulses, that it interpret, that it like converts to an analog signal. And what I have this doing is it's recording like one instance every 30th of a second, you know, to match the, the frame rate. And I don't really know how that's going to work with the tachometer. I don't know how quick the pulses send. I don't know. I That's what I was going outside to do until it started pouring uh, was to test that out and see you know how that was going to work but I'll have to work on that in the next couple days to get the tachometer all sorted that's going to be the only tricky thing everything else is just rotary potentiometers which are super simple to work with and this guy which is you know no different than a rotary potentiometer so that's cool um, and yeah that's that's pretty much it uh, this is <laughs> it's a seven minute video with not much to look at, but uh, I gave you quite a bit of information, so uh, there's that. Hopefully I get the tachometer worked out tomorrow. Um, you know, another another thing with that is that's a 12 volt, 12 volt source, because that's what, you know, cars and stuff use for all their electronics. The battery puts out like 13 to 15, but all the stuff runs on 12 volts usually. Uh, and this has a max, like... I don't know. I don't know what you want to call it, but you can't really put anything into it that's over five volts, and it doesn't put out over five volts. Um, and so, what you have to do is you have to sort of scale the signal down coming from the tachometer. You want to keep the same like frequency, but you need to like lower the the voltage. Which I actually made up a circuit to do that, but it's out in the garage, so I can't show you. But uh, I just thought I you know drop some information on you guys and. Uh, hopefully I'll have something to show you maybe tomorrow or Sunday I'll have I want to get a video of the tachometer working because uh, I want to finish I want to finish uh, this guy wherever it is it's gone but I want to I want to finish the tachometer this weekend at least um, the brake and other stuff I'm not sure how I'm gonna represent the steering on there I don't know if I should just give like a degree deflection degrees of deflection or what I don't know how I want to do that, but I don't know. If you guys have any ideas on how to show steering input graphically, uh, feel free to let me know. I, th I can't really think, like, other than, like, drawing, like, a line or, you know, like, roughly, like, steering handlebar shape uh, and then just rotating that, but I don't know. We'll see. But that's all I got, so see you later, guys. Mm -hmm.